Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Ghost of Tsushima. And in the last episode, we were exploring the countryside for undiscovered locations, guys, and pretty much taking on any Mongol we found along the way. And we were heading over here to the west side of the island to check out Whispers in the Woods and the other side of Honor when we got a rumor that this old trading post is currently under Mongol occupation. So we're going to see what we can do to remedy that, and then we'll go ahead and see what these are all about. Now, this is actually going to give us a good opportunity to um, observe a Mongol leader. And I want to thank you guys in the comments for letting me know that we can do this. Um, we can apparently... Oh, hello there, dear. If we observe a Mongol leader before killing him, we get double credit. So that's going to help us get our stances a whole lot quicker. And this is a heck of a trading post. Mongol territory... And that is a cart of dead samurai. Ugh. Tell you what, they have a flair for the brutally uh, dramatic, don't they? And looks like there's some peasants being oppressed inside. Um. So, apparently what we need to do is we need to get close enough to a Mongol leader to initiate a button prompt. Um, I think it's either L2 or R2, I'm not sure which. And once we observe them, we get a stance point, and then once killing them, we get another one. So it's kind of, you know, double the fun. So let's go ahead and get our traveler's attire set up. I think we'll keep the mask. And we can switch over to the armor again if need be. Looks like we got one of the binkies and the big club guy and <laughs> they're just beating the crap out of those villagers. No standoff. I actually need to look for archers, don't I? That's the cool thing about this is it's, the game's actually making you think tactically. I mean, you can go in like Leroy Jenkins if you want to, and that's fun, and there's tactics involved in that, but I just really like this. See if there's another way that we can go... Well, hello there. Okay. There's a woman screaming. And there, actually, that's the leader right there. What's going on? Oh. Oh, there's a lady being oppressed inside. Can we uh, go say hello? Nice and quiet. Some supplies. Hello, ma'am. Thank you very much for not screaming. Iron. Just coming to go up through the door. Hi, guys, what's going on? <laughs> so, what do we got? Oh! Let's not get seen. Some kunai. And iron. It's already been profitable. And they're all in this they're all in this triangle formation. Kill or observe Mongol leaders. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how can we observe. Can we observe by putting an arrow in their head? Maybe we need to do aerial. Can we actually jump on those Mongol tents? Here, we're gonna sneak around. Actually, we need to. Is there anyone else here? Hello? Probably need to wait for cover of night to do this effectively. Don't we? 
Got some leather. <laughs> Those peasants are going to be very, very bruised. Yeah, I don't see... Oh, hold on. Maybe behind this well. Whoa. This is a good spot, maybe. No button prompt, though. Let's get closer. I don't want to press anything else because I'm afraid I'm going to throw a kunai and, like, make myself known. Okay, I'm going to try and head over here. If we get discovered, we get discovered. That's just... We all saw... We all saw nothing. You saw nothing. Whew, that was close. <laughs> and back to the villagers. Okay, we can. Oh no. Hi, how are you? Well, derp that up, Royal. Oh, um, let's go ahead and get our armor on. That's weird. I, how close do we have to get for that? Kill an enemy during a standoff. Well, that's a shame. Oh! Ah. I don't hear anyone else coming to help. Oh! And leader killed. I tried to observe you, sir, but you made it difficult. You're welcome. Now, one thing you guys told me to do, you can actually unsheath the sword by sliding the middle and what was that other one? That's cool. I was wondering how we could play the flute when I saw it on that uh, gameplay video. Well, let's go ahead and loot some bodies and see what else this place has in store for us. Iron? So, what did I need to do there? Did I need to climb up here, maybe? Maybe it depends on how aerial... We probably just should have waited for cover of night before doing anything. Like, gotten super close. Oh well, live and you learn. Kunai. What's in the box? More steel. More iron. Is there a Mongol artifact? Trying to, I'm very, very nervous and paranoid about missing those now. I think we may be clear, though. Let's see, is that... Oh, that is clear. 
Actually, we'll put on our traveler's attire and we'll know for sure, huh? And I'm getting no pulses. So I guess we are in good shape. Okay, Nobu. I'm gonna go ahead and let you graze. Let's go ahead and get our armor back on and we will uh, continue on with our journey. Actually, no, let's keep the traveler's attire on. And let's do... Well, it is getting night. It might be a good time to go ahead and try the other side of honor. Because we'll be in good shape for it. Let's follow the wind. And ignore all the very angry wildlife to our left. Here's that guy just hanging out. Oh, it's a... Okay. Oh! Nobu! Oh my god! How dare you! Nope. You, my friend. There you go. Oh. Tried to do a parry. That was interesting that they were just hanging out in the grass like that. Nobu? You okay, buddy? Oh my god. Alright, you look okay. Gonna take more than that to take you out. And you better not get taken out either, because I'm gonna be very upset. <laughs> want to get attached to another video game horse. Uh, Tonto upgrade available. Alright. Let's continue on our journey here. Countryside is beautiful and dangerous. Oh, this looks interesting. And we got a bird friend. We can actually bow too, which is great. I was curious about that beforehand. Hmm. This place seems untouched by invasion. Folks just working on their crops. As Jin walks all over the crops. Oh, you get to prepare the bath. Lucky you. Leather. Seems like a nice little slice of heaven. What's wrong with it? よろよきていらっしゃるのでてっきり神六様かとようこそお侍様。神六様とはまさかご存知ないのですか？名のあるお侍ですよ。合わせてくれ。そろそろ戻るか。じっきにぜひ遊芸を共にされて神六様の武
であっただが傷一つついていないぞおうお客人がいらっしゃるとはよくぞ参られましたなうん礼を言う他に生き延びた武士がおったのだなとても激しい戦でしたね浜は血を吸って赤く染まりあれは思い出したくもない光景です菰田におったのかもちろんあ失礼よ長旅でヘトヘトでしてさあゆえ案内させましょう続きはその後でさあお連れいたしましょう We got a pretender here I think we'll be seeing you later friend あの方がいらっしゃらなければ今頃津島は猛虎に乗っ取られてるって聞きましたたちを携えてはおらんのか武具は民に譲って大事な馬だけを残したとか馬屋によりますよ湯は後でよい馬を見てまいる I guess that's where the bath was going to be Yeah so did this guy maybe kill a legit samurai, take the armor, and then build a cult of personality around himself? Anything track wise for us? Expecting to find like a body or something. Kono Kurawa Higuchi Dono no Monoda Jindokua Bushi de Wanai Kuchiwara Seruka. Let's go ahead and I know we probably look more intimidating to him wearing the mask, but. Now, how much you want to bet that he's gone ahead and headed out as quickly as he could? Jinroku, where are you? I just went to the hospital. There's a hospital in the hospital. I'm going to look for it. Mm-hmm. Track Jinroku. How do we track him, though? Well, I guess that might be a clue. See that? Oh, wait, that's just smoke. It looked like literally like a beam of light. Did he grab the horse and go? Oh, return to the search area. Okay. Nobu. Probably should look around and see if we just saw him going, Oh God, flee. It would have been hilarious had he actually just been up here hiding. Oh, that would have been amazing. <laughs> Oh. So maybe up this direction. Ah, oh, there's the footprints. Hi, friend. Why <laughs> I don't know if we should try and throw kunai or anything at him. We need him alive. We need to figure out what happened to our uh, actual samurai ally. Huh? 
Hi. You have been confronted. Yes? Do let the Kashin Onsen. I'm not even going to wear my armor for this. Okay, well then. お前は何者だ。何者でもね、どこにでもいるただの百姓だ。お前は武士の名を語り、その名を汚した挙句。あの女子を騙しておったのだぞ。分かってる。頼む。故障だから殺さないでくれ。集落には二度と戻らねえ
I saw a standoff. Where's the standoff? Um, maybe we need to take the hot springs from someone? Oh, they're right there. Never mind. Ah. Cheeky. Uh, I was going for that quick shot. That would have been amazing. Okay. I thought there were like bandits in the hot spring. <laughs> it's like, well, if I have to fight for control, I will do that. And a perfect time to rest. What are we going to reflect on? <laughs> Favorite foods, probably saving uncle. Vegetables sweetened with mirin. Hmm. It's mirin. I'm not familiar with that. Soy sauce, um, and steamed vegetables, I love. Not much of a vegetable eater, but if they're, oh, that thing's on, that is very much on fire. Um, put some soy sauce on it, though, and steam it. I'm in pretty good shape. Plum Blossom Shrine. Okay. Looks like a samurai's been hanging out here, too. Should we attempt the shrine? Looks warm and inviting. Let's see what we got here. This may be something a little bit different than uh, parkour. And then we had another prefecture. Yes, very hot. Maybe there's a particular way to put it out. <laughs> Water stance. Wait, what we? Huh? Bamboo. Be very bad if we're. It's bad. It's very bad. Oh dear. Up. Maybe we need to switch over to uh, traveler's attire. Be a little bit more swift. I mean, we've. We've done the tree thing before. We can do it again. There we go. Before that branch breaks, holy crap. That would have been bad. Fortunately, we have some clues that we're going the right way. Now we're getting into, like, primal forest areas of Japan. Up. And up. And up. Gotta be fast. Ooh. 
And then I assume this is just gonna be one, two, three. Oh, never mind. I could be wrong with that. Probably. Oh, that was the probably the worst time to do this in the middle of the night, but. I think we made it. Do we have access to that tree? Because that looks interesting. Oh, looks like we can run. Charm of the Kami of Fire. That makes sense. Deal bonus damage while at 50% health or less. That is nice. I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and get Charm of the Unyielding. If I fail, it's still going to hurt you. A bit. And it looks like there's a... More stuff over here. Wood and flowers. I am I got I am gonna jump over that. We gotta see what this is all about. Oh it hurt, but we got it. Nope. Shigenori's Peak. Hi, friend. Did he... Oh, he committed seppuku. There is nothing left for me here. My family is dead, my home is burnt, my hope is lost. To any who read this, keep Genzo of Komatsu Forge in your prayers. Farewell. Oh, that's sad. Heck of a place to do it, though. Look at all the blossoms, trees. Well, there's not much, not much you can say. Yeah. Gonna work our way back down. Yeah. All right. Well, this is a bit of a less grim view. So, Whispers in the Woods is right north of us. Maybe either at that settlement up there or maybe where the fire is. But I think this is a good place to go ahead and end the episode for today, guys. Uh, we were able to get some new charms and um, basically expose a false samurai taking advantage of ladies and so forth, though they knew. So I guess that was a mutual arrangement for everybody. But I'm just going to keep it like this because that just looks cool. But uh, we'll end it here, and we will pick it up in the next episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.